Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's uh, video, I'll be reviewing uh, Swamp Dogs, uh, House of Crows. Uh, this is a, we, we got some new comics sent to us by uh, Scout Comics. Um, this is through their Black uh, Caravan imprint, uh, Swamp Dogs. This is written by J.M. Brandt and Theo Presidis with art by Cure Ball. Colors by Root Redman and letters by Steve Wands, with a cover by Robert Samalin. Uh, now, if you don't know much about Scout Comics, they're an independent publisher that have many little uh, uh, subprints, uh, imprints on, under them. Uh, so Black Caravan is one of those imprints. Uh, and for the description of this book, uh, let me tell you here, they came from the swamp, the scummiest squad of Confederate soldiers brought back to life by powerful voodoo magic. The great power, carnage, and flesh, they are the Swamp Dogs. Now, young lovers Anya and Violet and their friends from the goofy stoner metal band, The Grunge, will unknowingly fall into their ghoulish nest. Bear witness to a rollicking gore fest straight out of the shocking grindhouse and revenge black exploitation of the 1970s and the cult horror of classics of the 1980s with a modern twist. Uh, yeah, that's such an apt description for this book. Um, this type of book is not something we not something I would normally get into, but when I was looking through through all the previews and stuff that we received, I was like, oh, this looks, this looks rad. Now, this book, unfortunately, has been delayed a couple times because of all the shipping delays and everything. Uh, so it was supposed to come out in the week of October 20th. It now has been confirmed, at least as far as I know. That it will be coming out on the week of 1027. Um, so let's go a little bit into the book. Uh, so yeah, we so one of the things that super got me with this book was the the art and the coloring here. Um, the story is very slowly paced because I think uh, like in a swamp, as you're moving through it, like you have to be very careful and you know explore every turn. And I think the book has a lot of that. Um, like I, I really got that feeling of like I have to trudge carefully, uh, especially once you go back and you're like, you know, grindhouse type of movie or grindhouse type of story, uh, black exploitation, cult horror, like all those things. Like they do a lot. They those movies did a lot with very little. Uh, so I think this comic is also trying to do the same, where it's trying to take its time uh, and deliver a story. But check out these panels here. Uh, these are the the zombies that we see in the swamp. They're attacking the, I guess, the swamp dogs, those Confederate soldiers mentioned at the beginning. But then we get this really cool transition into the modern era uh, at this, like, super rad party uh, that, you know, like, you just kind of would want to be there. Um, and the coloring's so different, and it just looks like a really cool Halloween. I would think it's a Halloween event uh, because everyone's dressed up, so... Uh, this, yeah, I, I'm, I mean, really, the the premise and the setup for this book uh, really hooked me. Um, as we get into the story, there was a few things that, with the pacing, that um, felt a little, it didn't click for me as much. But overall, um, yeah, I mean, overall, I really, really want to keep reading the story. Uh, now, let's see, let's take another look at some other panel. We have here uh, Violet and Ayana. Who finally meet at this party and they instantly kind of hit it off. Um, they seem like pretty interesting characters, but we don't get a, we don't get to know a lot, a lot about them yet. Uh, or, but we do definitely see that they have very distinct personalities from each other, uh, and they kind of immediately hit it off at this party. So that was very interesting. Uh, the last panel I'll show here because I don't want to get into any like big spoilers for the book is. We have this individual walking through the cemetery, and as in most of those grindhouse, like Night of the Living Dead, cold horror movies, something happens that inadvertently kind of unlocks this this terror or this horror or whatever you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it unlocks it, and now, um, so as of this first issue, though, are I guess both stories haven't collided yet with the zombies and the people at the party. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. I think this for me will read better once the full arc or the story is complete. Um, 
So I think I'm just going to wait off on reading until everything's out. Just collect the single issues and and then read it after that. Um, but overall, it's a really interesting premise. Uh, not normally the type of book I would pick up. And I think that's why I'm glad that Scout is um, letting us take a look at some of the previews. Because otherwise, I would never read a book like this. Uh, just because there's, there's not enough time to read everything I want to read. But also... It's it's sometimes it's hard to do with you know trying to make the decision of like okay let me explore some indie books what am I gonna go with um, but this book this book looks really intense and I really like it so uh, yeah pretty much uh, I would recommend if you're a fan of those the the genres I mentioned before uh, I think you want to definitely get in on this so let me know if you read any other Scout comics let me know if you have any thoughts on this book. Hopefully this isn't affected by any more shipping delays and we're good there. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live, uh, when we premiere videos and stuff like that. Also, check out the Patreon uh, link in the description. Uh, patrons get a lot of these reviews up front earlier than most of everyone uh, because we shoot a lot of these in advance. Apologies for the light. The sun's being crazy today. Um, but thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.